In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus H3PO4, barium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see I have two phosphates here and only one here, so I'm going to put a two in front of this. I have three barium atoms, only one here. I'll put a three here. That gives me three times one times two, six hydrogens plus two times three, six more hydrogens. So I have 12 hydrogen atoms here. I'm going to put a six here, and that fixes the oxygen atoms as well. So this is the balanced molecular equation. If you need help with this, there's a link in the description on really how to balance this molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Barium hydroxide is considered a strong base. It's going to dissolve in water. It's going to dissociate into its ions. So we're going to write aqueous there. Phosphoric acid will also dissolve, but it's a weak acid. Good one to remember. This is a weak acid, so it will only partially, just a little bit, dissociate into its ions. Barium phosphates, phosphates, if you know your solubility rules, in general are insoluble. So barium, this is an insoluble compound. So when these two react, this will be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a solid. So we're going to write solid after that. And then water, that is a liquid. So we have the state for each substance. Now we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. And this will give us the complete ionic equation. So we look at barium hydroxide. Barium's in group two on the periodic table, two plus ionic charge. The whole hydroxide ion has a minus charge. So we have three barium two plus ions. And I won't write aqueous each time. We'll do that at the end. Plus three times two, six of these hydroxide ions, OH minus. Then for the H3PO4, the phosphoric acid, we said that's a weak acid. And for weak acids, which are weak electrolytes, we don't split them apart. So we just have two of these H3PO4 molecules. And we'll write aqueous. It's going to dissolve in water, but it won't break up very much, just a little bit. So we're going to leave it together here. Those are the reactants. Products. Barium phosphate's a solid. So since it's a solid, we do not split it apart. We keep that together. So there's our barium phosphate plus water. That's a liquid. We don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations either. These are the products of our reaction. So right now we have the complete ionic equation. Now that we have the complete ionic equation, we could cross out the spectator ions. These are on both sides of our complete ionic equation. They're the things that are the same in the reactants and the products. With this particular equation, nothing is the same. Everything is unique. So this turns out to also be the net ionic equation. Let me clean this up and add the states in for each one of these substances. And we'll have our net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus H3PO4. And this is the net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid. We have the same number of each type of atoms on each side, so that's balanced. And then for the charge, that's balanced as well. We have 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus, 6 times 1 minus, 6 minus. So those balance out. Everything on this side is neutral. That's it. This is the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus H3PO4. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.